Had we but world enough and time, this coyness lay they were no crying. We would sit down and think which way to walk and pass our long, long day. Thou by the Indian Ganges side shouldst rubies love. I by the tide of Humber would complain. I would love you ten years before the flood, and you should, if you please, refuse till the conversion of the Jews. My vegetable love should grow vaster than income, more slow. An hundred years should go to praise thine eyes, and on thy forehead gaze. Two hundred to adore each grace. Thirty thousand An age at least that should be past, and the last Lady, you deserve this, nor would I love at lower rate. That my back I always hear, time's winged chariot like. And yonder all before us lie deserts of vast effect. Thy beauty shall no more be found, nor in thy marble vault shall sound my echoing song. Then worm shall cry that long. Your quaint honour turns to dust, and to ashes all my life. The grave's a fine and private place, but none, I think, do there embrace. Now, therefore, while the youthful hue sits on thy skin like morning dew, and while thy willing soul transpires at every pore within now let us sport us while we may, and now, like amorous birds of prey, rather at once our time devour and languish in his slow chapped hour. Let us roll all our strength and all our sweetness into one ball, tear our pleasures with rough strife through the iron gates of life. Thus, though we cannot make our sons stand still, Yet we will make it.